Pierre de Montesquieu, born Charles Louis de Second Day, was born in Bordeaux, France in 1689 to an affluent family. Despite his family's wealth, de Second Day was raised by a poor family in his childhood. After returning to his wealthy biological family's household, he went on to study science and history at the Catholic College of Julie. De Second Day worked as a lawyer in the local government, but after his father and uncle passed away, de Second Day inherited his family's riches and titles. He was then known as Baron de Montesquieu and held the place of president of the Bordeaux Parliament. Later on, he went on to the Bordeaux and French Academies of Science to study the culture and governments of neighboring European countries. Montesquieu first gained fame in 1721 with his book Persian Letters, which criticized the lifestyle and liberties of the wealthy French along with the church. Despite the success of Persian Letters, his most significant achievement was publishing the famed Spirit of the Laws in 1748. This novel was critical to the formation of our current government because in it, Montesquieu discussed the best forms of government. He believed that all things were made up of rules and laws that never changed. Montesquieu set out to research these rules and laws in hopes that knowledge of them would reduce the problems of society and improve human life. According to Montesquieu, there were three types of government. A monarchy, a republic, and despotism. He believed that a government based on the people was the best form, but he also believed that the success of that kind of government depended on maintaining the balance of power. Montesquieu's vision of a balanced government consisted of three branches with equal power. England's government was a great model of this. It consisted of a king, parliament, and judges of the English courts. Familiar? Our government is based on Montesquieu's idea of separation of powers except that we're divided into the legislative, judicial, and executive branch. The judicial branch consists of courts and judges, the legislative consists of Congress and the House of Representatives, and the executive branch consists of our president. Without Montesquieu's observations, we could be under the rule of a dictator or a monarch, and we wouldn't have all the rights that we're lucky enough to have today. Truly, Montesquieu is extremely influential to our ways of life today.